Welcome to Xeno Tools. In this video, we'll give you a complete tour of our platform so you can learn to use it efficiently and get the most out of your account. From the basic setup of your station to advanced features, we'll guide you step-by-step -step to help you manage and enhance your content. Once you've registered, you'll have access to the dashboard. Here you can see our latest recommended video tutorial on YouTube, the most recent updates on Xeno Tools, listener trends to monitor your audience. Now let's dive into the most important section of Xeno Tools, stations. We'll spend some extra time here to explain everything in detail. When you enter the stations section and select one of the stations you've created, you'll be directed to a screen with a world map. Here you can see the current broadcast status, whether you're broadcasting via auto DJ, live or offline, comparative statistics with the previous week, whether monetization is enabled or you are broadcasting ad-free, real-time traffic to your station, showing connected listeners. On the right panel, you'll find the broadcast settings button. Clicking it will open a pop-up window with all the information you need to connect to an encoder and broadcast live, such as the server address, port, mount point, password, etc. If you need more help, check out our YouTube tutorials, like the one on setting up with Butt. Below this, you'll see the stream URLs, the primary one and other formats. We recommend using the primary one. You'll also find the Xeno.fm announcements section, where announcements for your station's microsite will be posted. At the top, you'll see several key tools. Auto DJ. Upload tracks to keep your station playing 24 seven when you're not broadcasting live. If you have a paid plan like Starter, Prime, or Premiere, you can choose between Auto DJ or the automation tool for advanced programming features. Podcasts. You can upload podcasts associated with your station, import one from an RSS feed, or record podcasts directly from the live broadcast. Check out our video series on podcasts for more information. Widget. Get the HTML code to embed a player on your website with size and customization options. Then copy and paste the HTML into your site. CTL, call to listen. Available in paid plans, this feature allows listeners to tune into your station by calling a phone number in the US. Settings, starting with stream, you'll find the following options. Audio advertising. If you're a paid subscriber, you can enable or disable audio ads in your broadcast here. You can also apply this setting to all your relays. Relay. This option allows you to create a copy or mirror URL of your original broadcast. It's useful for distributing your content across multiple servers. Geo-blocking. Limit your broadcast to specific countries. This is helpful if you want to restrict access to your content in certain regions. IP blocking. Restrict access to specific users by blocking their IP addresses. Master Relay. Paid subscribers can add or remove a master relay link directly from Xeno Tools to rebroadcast another audio stream URL without needing to activate the automation program. Reset server. If you ever need to restart your broadcast server, you can do it here with one click. After adjusting these settings, go back to the top of the page to access the station info section. Here, you can modify key details such as station name, associated tags, Add relevant keywords for your content, organization type, organization size, time zone. If you no longer need a station, you can also delete it from this section. Finally, in people, you can invite team members to manage the specific station. Just enter their email and select the appropriate role. Remember, if you want someone to manage all your stations, you need to invite them from people in the main menu. Podcast tab. Access podcasts from the main menu to manage all the podcasts you've configured. Here, you can create new podcasts, edit existing ones, or import content from an RSS feed. If you manage multiple stations, this section will be especially useful. You can also record podcasts directly from your live broadcasts. For more details, check out our podcast video series on YouTube. Audio Advertising tab. Want to monetize your content? Audio advertising lets you create ad campaigns directly in your broadcast, allowing you to incorporate your own clients' ads precisely. This is an excellent way to generate additional revenue and is available exclusively for paid subscribers. Xeno.fm tab. Personalize your microsite with the Xeno.fm section. Here, you can view your station's URL at the top and complete your profile with relevant information, similar to social media. This includes adding a profile picture, descriptions, and links. For a detailed guide, don't miss our YouTube tutorial. 
People tab, invite your colleagues to join your team from the People section. Here, you can manage who has access to your general account and all associated stations. Simply enter your collaborator's email and send them an invitation. This is a key tool for collaborative and efficient work. Analytics tab. Analytics provides a comprehensive overview of your audience. From this section, you can monitor all listeners connected to your station. Data can be viewed at the account level or filtered by specific stations. In the Streaming tab, you can view detailed audience statistics over time periods like the previous month. This helps you evaluate the performance of your station and better understand audience trends. Additionally, you can select all stations to view the overall account performance, choose a single station, or group multiple stations to see combined statistics. Let's try selecting two stations, choosing previous month, and then clicking Get Analytics. This will display detailed statistics for the selected station or stations, including total sessions completed, the total number of sessions listeners have completed, total unique IPs, the sum of unique listeners in a specific period of time, average listening minutes, the average duration of each listening session, total listening hours, the cumulative listening time for your audience, total ad impressions, the number of audio ads played during the selected time period, all these statistics are shown for the selected time interval, in this case, previous month. As you scroll down, you'll encounter various graphs such as total sessions alongside total ad impressions, a combined view of both metrics, average listening minutes per session, insights into the average session length, device statistics, breakdown of devices used by listeners, regional statistics, geographic distribution of your audience. If you click on the country, you will get a detailed view by city or state. Daily statistics, daily breakdown of listener activity, royalty statistics, displays how often tracks have been played in your broadcast, which is crucial for calculating royalty payments. It's important to note that all these statistics can be downloaded individually as a .csv file for further analysis. You can also review statistics related to your podcasts and call sessions, giving you a complete view of your audience's engagement. Plans tab. If you haven't subscribed to one of our paid plans yet, this section gives you a detailed overview of the options available. With plans like Starter, Prime, and Premiere, you can unlock advanced tools to take your station to the next level. Additionally, in the Billing section, you can manage all your subscription details. This includes modifying or adding payment methods, updating billing information, and reviewing your invoice history. Conclusion. If you want to learn more about how to make the most of our tools, we invite you to visit our YouTube channel, where you'll find detailed tutorials on each feature. Thank you for using Xeno.fm, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.